It's Wednesday, time for Mike on the Money. We know, we know that managing money for many people is not fun. It can feel confusing and frustrating. So Mike Giordano, financial advisor with Williams Wealth Management is here. Mike, you're gonna talk about some of the biggest money mistakes people make, also how we can avoid them. So first- right. Solutions. Solutions, we right. love solutions. So you're gonna tell us about an investing mistake, believing cash is a risk-free investment. That's a mistake? That is over the long term. So uh, obviously we're not talking about emergency savings here or funding short term goals. That's where cash is, is great. But we're talking about long term goals. And sometimes people think uh, that when they put their money in cash that it's basically risk free. That number is not going to move. And it's true. The number not, might not move, but the purchasing power over time moves. So when you think about cash, you don't want to marry cash as a long term investment strategy. You just want to date it. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, you're using more hip lingo here because we're talking about FOMO. <laughs> so another investment mistake you say is FOMO, fear of missing out. Tell us about that. We all have FOMO yeah. uh, in, in life. I, as I age, I'm trying to get less and less FOMO. Uh, but um, but yeah, at the end of the day, people when they make investments, sometimes they get they start wanting to buy whatever was the really interesting investment recently. So it could be a meme stocks, it could be cryptocurrencies. Uh, last year, when energy stocks were taking off, people want to plow tons of money into those, and and you, you can work for a little bit, but you want to really maintain balance. And sometimes people uh, they throw too much in uh, at one time. Don't have FOMO. Don't have FOMO, especially when it comes to investing. And you are also saying that a big debt mistake a lot of people make, a lot of people make this, is piling up that unnecessary credit card debt. Unnecessary is the key word there. Uh, you know, obviously, if you're struggling to pay your bills, making those minimum payments on credit cards is what you have to do until you can get on better financial footing. But I've seen a lot of people who have the funds to just wipe out the credit card debt, maintain that credit card debt. And we're talking about interest rates that are 20% or more now. And uh, that's, a, that's quite a chunk of money that's going to the credit card companies that could be staying in your pocket. Overall, big picture, you say the, the biggest mistake we can make is just not being aware of our finances? Yeah, it, we all love to cover our eyes, close <laughs> yes. our ears, right, all that stuff uh, uh, when it comes to these things. But in finances, the best thing to do is understand, like, what do your investments look like? Well, you know, it's easy to know how much money's coming in the door income-wise. Uh, a lot of people don't really know how they're spending their money. So go look at your credit card uh, statement. There, there's a great breakdown. You can look at, like, where all that money's going, uh, and it can help you better understand. If you know what you're spending your money on, you can make changes more easily. All right. Great advice, Mike. Thank you, you so bet. much. We'll see you next week, and we'll be right back. <laughs>